<laughs> All right, we find ourselves today at the Land Between the Lakes National Park in the Golden Pond Recreation Trailhead. Now, the Land Between the Lakes is right between um, the states of Kentucky and Tennessee, and it's, a, it's almost an island that runs between. Now, what are we gonna find here today? I have no idea. We're here in the middle of the afternoon, um, it's about 4.30 local time, um, so we should be starting to get some nice light and maybe some sunsets. Join us on the trail and we'll see what we find. Slogging down the trails here, trying to find something to photograph. And, you know, it's just one of those times that, uh, you know, pre reconnaissance is always good. Try to figure out what you're going to shoot beforehand. But if you're going to be in an area only a day, how do you do that? You do that on the internet, which is what I did. And uh, I found very little photographs, very few photographs of the land between the lakes area. And uh, actually, there might be a reason why. Basically, it's nice wooded trails to walk but uh, very little photographic opportunities. So we're gonna continue on this trail and uh, see if there's anything that we can, we can find. So I'm pretty sure that you can make out what's going on here. We've got a, like a creek that's dried up. I see no water in this at all. Um, as humid as it is, I wouldn't think this would be a dry summer, but you can see where there is evidence where water did run through. I was hoping to find some water in this area, but not today. So wandering, 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 up hills. It's like, it's like when your parents had to go to school and everything was uphill both ways. <laughs> that's, that's what this trail feels like today. And nothing, not one shot yet. Of course, the lens I have on is the Canon 50 SSC, which is manual focus, complete manual. He's gone now. And he just went into the log. All right, so I have to see. What was I said? I said at F2.8. So I let the camera pick the shutter speed. So why in the world do you ask did I have a manual lens set up on my camera and then come across something like this? Well, coming up fairly soon, I'm in the running to be one of six photographers featured in Amateur Photographer Magazine about using vintage lenses on modern digital cameras. So that's part of what I'm doing today is I'm hoping to capture some images. Where'd you go, wife? <laughs> <laughs> capture some images um, that uh, possibly they can use in their magazine. So we'll, uh, we'll see if any of that works for them. All 
so what I found as we were walking, we were walking along is this lone leaf on this stump with the moss. And the nice thing is I could see that the light was just about to come through. Michelle, if you kind of look at what's going on right there, and uh, you can see the light is just starting to hit that, hit that guy. In fact, I'm going to take this from here and let you kind of see what I'm seeing through the camera right there. You can see kind of how I have it framed. Uh, I'm using the law of thirds, so I've got it right in that uh, lower right quadrant or lower right third pattern. And I can do some other cropping from there, but I really like how the light is coming through and isolating that little selective dodging and burning. And I might really, really have something right there. I'm shooting at f 2.8 on the vintage lens, the Canon 50 millimeter SSC. Oh, my sun pattern just went away. And uh, so my shutter speed, I just opened up a little bit, is now at a 60th of a second. Um, Camera set up to ISO 400. Actually, I like those first shots I got with that little splay of light, which is now gone. So we'll uh, we'll have to see what we get. So kind of an interesting situation here in the National Park area. Um, we were able to get a pass to come in to see one of the lakes. And the pass they give us is 30 minutes. So I said, well, what if I'm going to be 35 minutes or something? He says, well, the park rangers are going to come get you if you're 45 or even after that. So we've got to see if we can get a shot pretty quick. Um, I did want to look at the, the water here. And we've got sunset coming up. come out on this dock and actually I did see something that's kind of nice in the uh, distance here I see a um, set of logs that have fallen into the water and there's some nice light that's kind of just barely skating across and uh, we've got some um, um, nice dark wood wooded in the background and uh, of course the reflections off the water very calm very peaceful now one of the challenges with this is that this is actually a floating dock so it's moving so I've got to be able to stabilize that out. So one of the things that I've done is I've actually turned on the stabilization on the lens, maybe to help stabilize that out. I realize I'm on a tripod and we don't normally do that, but uh, hopefully that'll, that'll alleviate some of the issues. Kind of our shot that I've got set up and um, it should be a pretty, pretty decent composition. So I've increased the shutter speed up to a 250th, which then puts me at f4.4 um, and it also boosts the uh, ISO up a little bit on that as well. But I like the little shallower depth of field that this has given us. I think it'll help alleviate any motion of this dock as it's floating and kind of rocking around. So it puts the ISO at 1600 in order to get this shot at a 250th of a second. Just sitting there on my chair. Get your pictures all taken? I did. Always need more time. Well, we have finished our time at the Land Between the Lakes, and we're heading back right now to our Airbnb. So hopefully, I mean, again, as always, you get to see the photographs before we do. Hopefully there's something that was decent enough to look at um, just uh, to have to measure your time like that to do photographs by a yardstick makes it... Uh, it interesting and difficult that was my the first time I've had something like that um, ever in my life so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this week's vlog as always remember to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you'll get notifications of 
uh, future vlogs as they come available. And again, right now we're posting every Tuesday, so a new adventure every week. Right, well, we find ourselves today at somewhere. I forgot where we are. Oh, well, we find ourselves today at the Land Between the Lakes National Park, which is right between um, Kentucky and another state, Tennessee. <laughs> we find ourselves today at somewhere again. Oh, good grief. Wander off too far. My wife tells me this is poison ivy. I don't want to find out. 